Hello, my name is Jason of Samuel Sweema Theological Seminary. I hope you're all okay today. It's good to see you. And I just wanted to share with you today the tremendous thrill and encouragement that I've had. Doing Bible studies with my mum, I, I meet up uh, once, sometimes twice a week, uh, to give her a Bible study. Now, my mum was uh, one of the top clairvoyants in the country. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a thrill that she's she's definitely left that now but also she was heavily influenced by the Jehovah's Witness teaching and uh, she was in the Jehovah's Witness movement for 14 years uh, passionate and sincere about it and when she became a clairvoyant she still read Jehovah's Witness booklets and things when she came out of the um, being a clairvoyant the first place that she turned to was the Jehovah's Witness and she began to have a lady come to her teaching her about the Jehovah's Witness teaching and she began to read the magazines again and the books that they provide and then one day she realized that the Jehovah's Witness were not the truth and one of the key verses that has influenced my mum is this uh, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 it says for by grace you are saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest any man should boast that's Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourself it is the gift of God and my mum says that the Jehovah's Witness teaching don't teach you that you're saved by grace that you're saved by the death, life and death of Jesus Christ. They preach the kingdom, they preach the coming of the kingdom, but they don't preach about the king and the need to trust him and the need to see that in Christ is everything that we need for salvation. And she said her exact words were, the Jehovah's Witness, Jason, leave out Christ. And I've been so thrilled and so encouraged because... Over 20 years, um, I came to know the Lord 20 years ago, or about Jesus 20 years ago. <laughs> I took a long time growing. But um, I came to know the Lord 20 years ago, and for over 20 years I've witnessed to my mum and I've tried to tell her about Jesus, and we've argued and argued. And sometimes I felt despair that, will anything ever get in, in inside my mum's head? And... I just want those to be you to be encouraged if you've got family who are Jehovah's Witnesses or maybe they're not Christian and you've been praying for them for years and years or maybe you've got family who were Christian and have gone off the rails and left Christianity for some reason and you're heartbroken and I just want you to know and be encouraged that it was heartbreaking for me over those 20 years worrying about my mum, praying for her that her eyes would be open and then one day, it was amazing really, the Holy Spirit just opened my mum's eyes and just in a revelation of reading the Bible, she was taught by God that the Jehovah's Witnesses were not the truth and that true Christianity is, evangelical born again Christianity is, and that Jesus is the only way and that we're to trust in Jesus. And so the other night, I went to see my mum and I gave her a Bible study. We had a good chat. It was a thrill to talk about scriptures and, the, and that. And it was just wonderful. You know, I could have preached to a thousand people that night. But it would not have been as good as being able to give a Bible study for, to your own mum who'd just become a Christian. What a thrill that is. And she says, Jason, I've been having a clear out. And I've got a lot of stuff. Could you use it? I said, yeah, mum, yeah. So I went upstairs with her. And she gave me this. She gave me this. Tons of Jehovah's Witness books to to use so I can 
uh, use it as a Christian evangelical to study what the Jehovah's Witness teach so I can help people to come out of the Jehovah's Witness if she gave me tons of these magazines Watchtower magazines and she realizes that these things the Jehovah's Witness teaching all the things that they she's been reading uh, you know books that meant a lot to her you know reasoning in the scriptures she give me them she give me them because she'd realized that they weren't teaching the truth they weren't teaching the truth of Jesus Christ she gave me book after book after book said I don't need them anymore I've got Jesus I've got Jesus I've got Jesus book after book after book and it goes on and on of all the books that she'd read all the lies that the watchtower had been telling her about how Jesus isn't the Son of God about how Jesus isn't divine and the King of Kings telling them lies telling her lies she realized that for all the teaching in these magazines they don't teach Jesus they don't teach Jesus they don't teach we're saved by grace in all this literature in all these magazines there's nothing about salvation by grace that was saved by grace That Christ is the one that we trust. That Christ is the one that we should love. That we should trust him and adore him. And worship him and glorify him. Oh, hail the Lamb. Enthroned above. His name shall be. Our battle cry. He reigns victorious, forever glorious. His name is Jesus. He is the Lord. All oh, hail the Lamb and throne on high. His name shall be. A battle cry, he reigns victorious, forever glorious, his name is Jesus, he is the Lord, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. If you're the Jehovah's Witness today, come out of the Jehovah's Witness. Oh, I know you're sincere. I know you're going on the on the work. I know that. And I know you're sincere. And I know that you are a person committed and passionate about the word of God. I know that. But they are not teaching you the truth. They are not. They are not teaching you the truth. I swear. I, I bow before you. I, I sweep your feet. I kiss your feet to give you the chance to tell you that Jesus loved you at Calvary. 
that it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have eternal life. And if you want to know Jehovah, if you want to know Jehovah, you know him through Christ. For in Christ is Jehovah in all the fullness of Jehovah bodily. All that you need to know about Jehovah is in Jehovah Christ. For him is the one with all the glory, with all the majesty, with all the wonder. And it's trusting in him. Will you trust in Christ today? Not in the Watchtower's teaching. Yes, it's very practical teaching. Very practical and sometimes very relevant. But as my mom saw, as my mom saw, they were not proclaiming Christ. They were not really proclaiming Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Forgive me for my passion. Forgive me, my dear friend. Because I just want to put my arms around you and give you a kiss and say, Oh, that you would trust Jesus. That you would come to the Lamb and, and feed upon Christ and trust in Him. And all that you would rest in Him and praise Him and worship Him and glorify Him. And allow the Holy Spirit to teach you and to reveal truth to you. And that you would then run the race of grace. And that you would then become a missionary for Christ and proclaim the unsearchable riches of Jesus. All oh, that you would do that. Will you do that today? Right now, will you do that? Let's let's be quiet. And if you're a Jehovah's Witness today, let's bow before God. And I'll say a prayer. And if you mean this prayer, you become a Christian today. And you need to come out of the witnesses. You need to come out. You need to find a, a Bible-believing church. Get in contact with me. Or I'll put in contact with people who are sound Bible teachers in your area. And you can get into a church. But let's come and pray. And I'll say a prayer. And if this prayer means something to you, if you say it, you become born again. Almighty God, I'm a sinner. Excuse me. And I know that I'm a sinner and I know that I've failed you. And I know that I can't save myself. I know no matter how much I do, no matter how many good deeds I do, no matter how much I do for you, I'm still a sinner. For all have fallen short of the glory of God. But Jesus Christ, I ask that you would please come into my life. I pray by the power of your Holy Spirit that you would fill me. I pray that you would help me to rest in you and not my good works. And help me to see you as God in the flesh and my Saviour. Lord, I can't understand the Trinity. I can't understand. I, I find it very hard to understand. I don't understand it all. But I know what this young man has said to me, has spoken to me, and I know it's true. So I want to learn and grow, but Lord, I pray that you would help me to rest in you and trust in you today. And help me to leave the witnesses and to realize that you are everything. For you did say, Lord, I am the way, the truth and the life, and no one can come to the Father but through me. And Lord, I realize that I can only come to you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Please, Lord, forgive me, wash me and cleanse me, and I repent today, and I turn away from my old life. And I ask, Father, please come into my life through your Son and the power of your Holy Spirit. Please, Lord, I give you my life to do as you please today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And if you've prayed that prayer, God will meet you and he will come into your life and you will be a child, his child. And then I would encourage you to find a church where, where God can minister to you through his word. You're, you're a child of God and God loves you. God has a plan for you. All you need to do is depend on the Holy Spirit now to teach you his word. To, to make sure that you check everything with scripture as much as you can any doctrine that anybody teaches you 
and try to pray and find people who will build you up sincerely in the word of God. And God will be with you, God will guide you, God will encourage you and God will strengthen you. You're precious to him and he'll be there with you. Any video that I make, Jason Burns, me, any video that I make, I don't have copyright on it. I waver that. So anything that I've made, you can use it to give to your family and to help them, to, to witness to them. So if you want to make a DVD of this and give it out to people, you feel free to do that. Okay, so thank you for listening and God bless you. Thank you.